guys and welcome back to G's Autos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Alright, product review time again and this time around we've got the uh, Companion 45 litre transit fridge freezer. Single compartment, it's not a fridge and freezer, just a fridge or freezer guys. Okay, so this one runs on your mains power, 12 volt or 24 volt systems. Um, now, keep in mind, once you unplug this uh, from your battery setup, it will turn off. It doesn't have a backup internal battery unless you're, if, look, if you've got a dedicated um, dual battery system that it can stay plugged into all the time, great. It's going gonna, it's gonna to stay on and be nice and happy. Now, the temperature settings on this one is minus 20 to 18 degrees. So it will get your, uh, all your good stuff nice and cold. Uh, it look, it actually gets down to temperature pretty good. So we run through a full test and all of that. Now this one here will also, on the LCD display, it will show you uh, how much voltage is actually going into the unit, at the unit. And you can also uh, protect your battery when you're connected to it by telling it how many volts you before you want to cut it off. Uh, shut down the fridge, so that's really good as well. Um, now with this one, we also bought the, um, uh, I suppose you could call it the transit cover, the insulation cover, which is sweet, it's really nice, I really did like that. And I, look, I love the fridge as well, I'm really happy with it. Now if you saw my last product review, you, you, you knew I wasn't very happy with how the, the last product was uh, packaged. This time around, beautiful, someone actually put some thought into it. So Companion actually has these double boxed, and there's foam insulation on the top and on the bottom. So, you know, if you, order, if you are ordering it online, it's uh, very well protected, guys. So I was really happy with that. Anyway, enough out of me. Take a look at the video. I hope you like it. If you do, give it a big thumbs up, okay? And um, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Anyway, I'm really happy with this product. And if you buy it, I hope you're happy too. Enough out of me. Enjoy the video. All right, guys, and here we have the fridge. Now, first impressions. I'm really, really happy. I did have a quick look at this in store, at the camping store, and um, my first impressions, I was really, really happy with it. It looks great. Um, I like the black color, the gray band around the side with companion in white over the top. It's just, a, it's a nice looking fridge. Aesthetically, fantastic. Um, now let's have a, what, well, let's start with the things that, I, um, that stand out to me that I do like. The first of all, the vented area around the uh, the motor. I like how the ribs are not really super thin, so they're not going to break easy. Yes, that presses in. There's a little bit of give there, which is good. It's not super firm, or it's just going to break straight away. Um, these little corners, all four corners, have those little protective strips around the side. They can easily be replaced. They're just held on. They're just held on by a Phillips head one on each side so so far so good i'm really liking it now let's bring this around the main latch that holds the lid down it's nice and sturdy it's got a nice strong feel to it let's push that back uh, the little chain there that's easily replaceable it's just held in by a phillips head screw on each side or each end i should say and same with the seal, nothing spectacular about that. Years down the track, I can easily replace that myself. So when you close the lid, either just push it down, big click, you know it's uh, closed, or you can just hold that up. It's closed. All right. This does come standard with a LED light in there for night time um, you've got all your dairy product section which is a nice size actually it's um it's not super small and it's not um, super big it's perfect for what we need and uh, there's the main basket area basket slides out nice and easy if you're not using the basket there's a couple of big um, indents in there to put larger bottles if need be. Um, I know some people like a, a more closed mesh on the basket for smaller items so they don't slip through. Um, to be honest, my care factor on, on that one is absolutely zero. Um, I honestly don't think we will use the basket. Um, yeah, so that's, that wasn't a concern of mine. The finish inside is really nice. For an entry level 
um, or your budget side of fridge freezers, look, I'm really, really happy so far. But keep in mind, we are going to fire this thing up, plug it in and um, see how it performs. All right, let's have a look. I'll just move back here for a sec. Let's have a look at the uh, controls. The handles feel nice and sturdy. I like that. They're just held on, screwed onto the side. So if they did get broken and need to be replaced, um, easily done. The buttons, you can feel them press. You don't have to manhandle them. Just nice and easy to press. And your display panel there, which we will see once the fridge, fridge pardon me, fires up. But overall, really, really happy with it. I can't knock it at this stage. Um, it's going to be absolutely perfect uh, for what we need. So what I'm going to do now is actually going to plug it into mains power and um, get it cooling. And uh, we'll run through the menu system and so forth and um, we'll go from there. Okay, one quick thing I did want to show you is when you plug it into the uh, power outlet directly onto the uh, fridge freezer, this has got a nice sturdy connection. It's not sloppy and loose and it doesn't feel like it's going to fall out. It's actually, as you hear, as you could hear that, it's quite, um, it's quite sturdy. So the good thing is that the plug doesn't face down so it's going to get uh, damaged. It just comes off to the side, which I like, and easily have that running around the side. Anyway, let's get this fired up. Okay, so I've just powered the fridge on for the first time. As you can see, the power adapter there, hello fly, the power adapter has turned on with a green LED to show that it is uh, powered up. However, there's no display on the uh, fridge freezer just yet, so we'll power that up. Alright guys, the menu display on the fridge is very, very easy to use. Uh, the internal cabin temperature when I turned the fridge on was 25 degrees. I set it to 3 degrees and it took 26 minutes to come down to temperature. Now today is 27 degrees. Uh, it's nice and shady under a, under a nice shade here. Uh, so I'm not setting this out in direct sun and um, trying to blast the life out of the fridge. Um, so 26 minutes to come down to temperature. It's sitting on two now, compressor's turned itself off, so it's very comfortable with where it's at. Now you're seeing on the screen, the uh, display on the fridge is flashing. That is not the case. It's just that the camera is picking up the screen cycle of the display, therefore it looks like it's flashing, but it will, won't do that to you on your fridge. All right, I've just popped the lid. There's the uh, internal LED light. Um, look, this is beautiful and cold. That's working perfectly. It got up to about four degrees and then five degrees, and then the compressors kicked back in, but that's, yeah, happy campers. That's great. So um, yeah, couldn't be happier. What I'll do is I'll come out later when it's dark and we'll pop that lid and see how bright that light is at uh, nighttime. Okay, so we've just popped the fridge into the boot. And as you can see, it fits nicely. Now we've got a 2010 Camry and uh, we needed something this size that would fit in the boot space and it fits absolutely perfect. Very, very happy with that. All right, so here is the uh, insulating bag, protector, whatever you'd like to call it. Quality looks pretty good. So we'll chuck this on and uh, see how it fits and what it looks like. Bag is on. That fits really, really nicely. Nice and snug, quality's good. Looks absolutely fantastic. All right, as you can see, it's absolutely pitch black. 
there's the display on the fridge it's not really focusing very well because we're in the dark there we go all right pop the lid let's take a look at the light it's not going to show up very well in the video but it's actually it's good you can see right down the bottom of the basket there's enough light there and up to stagger over and find your favorite tinny or stubby